Where's the barcode? It's on the... Is it on the back? Yeah, on the side. Like, of the ear pad. Of your right ear pad. Like, back here? Yeah. I can't see it. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Here are our visibility conditions, and my sunglasses are fogging. <laughs> Greetings, hi, hello, welcome to a vlog week video in the life, <laughs> week in the life of a PhD student vlog. Um, today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day, it's January 16th, right? Yeah. Um, I just got back from skiing in Dairy Queen. I got some cheese curds and I just want to show this is like a fairly average size cheese curd. Look at this monstrosity of a cheese curd. I specifically was saving these two on the drive home so I could show you. It's only like 2 p.m. so I might be able to go catch a yoga class. So let's check that. Um, the semester starts on Wednesday. Today's Monday. Technically, I should have gone into the lab today, so I still should, but yeah, I don't really want to. So there's Power Hour, Yin, and Candlelight Vinyasa. I don't really want to do a Power Hour. But yeah, I don't, I think I might just not go to yoga today. So I might just like hang out, which really do not a whole lot for the last day of break. Um, yeah. So just wanted to check in. Oh, I did rent a helmet up at Bridger Bowl. So my buddy and I met up at the fairgrounds. We were going to take the shuttle up together, um, but that did not happen because he was running a little bit late and the shuttles were packed. Like literally like people were getting turned away from the shuttles. So he ended up driving and when I was putting my stuff into the back of his car, I forgot my backpack and my backpack had my helmet, my goggles, my gloves, my wallet, like all like my lunch, my water bottle and got up there and realized it. He had an extra pair of gloves and a pair of sunglasses I could use. And so, and a buff. And so I ended up having to rent a helmet, but because I lost, I had left my wallet in my backpack, he ended up having to pay for it. So I had to vend my back and then we just got Dairy Queen. But yeah, pretty good day of skiing. I wish I had more snow, but it is what it is. So. Anyway, now I'm just gonna like hang out and do literally nothing. All right, good morning. It is January 17th at 7.25 in the morning. I'm just about to head off to campus. This is a little bit earlier than I normally leave because I'm driving, I'm not taking the bus. Um, today, I just have to do a little bit of stuff in the lab, mostly just like look at plates and see if my antibiotics worked. And then from one to four, technically, uh, is this um, project management workshop that actually my advisor is putting on, um, but it's for the National Research Traineeship Program, NRT, that we have funded. Um, but it's open to all grad students, and if you go to at least two of their like seminar training things throughout the year, you can apply for a $2,000 seed fund. So I would be going anyway because I am interested in project management. Um, the whole point of the NRT is to try and teach grad students a little bit more about industry and we're so starved for learning about industry. Um, and also since it's my advisor's program, I feel like I kind of have to go. Um, but that's exciting. It's from one to four, but I have a dentist appointment at 3.30. <laughs> so I will have to leave at about 3.10 or so to make it to my car and drive over to the dentist in time. I might leave more like 3, 3.05. Kind of depends on if there's like a break in there. Um, and then after my dentist appointment, I have pottery from 5.30 to 8.30. So that is the vague plan today. Today is the last day before the semester starts. It starts tomorrow. Um, I, I'll go ahead and tell you about the semester. Um, so this semester I'm te technically taking three classes. I'm in seven credits. Um, the first class is bioinformatics. It's four credits. It's like two two-hour blocks each week. And I'm excited for that to learn a lot about bioinformatics. I'm a, supposed to be writing a proposal currently. It's hardly written. I've written everything but the like technical section, which is the hardest section to write um, about the use of bioinformatics. So I'm hoping to learn a lot in this class, incorporate some of that in the proposal before it's due, and then obviously like learn more. Taking that class, which is Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm taking seminar, which is technically now called like scientific writing and management or something like that. I can't remember. 
um, and that is essentially to just prepare me for writing my comprehensive exam. The way that my comprehensive exam works is I basically write a proposal on my the research I've done so far and what I plan to do for the rest of my PhD and then defend it. And I'm planning to do that either this summer or this upcoming fall. So I have to take the seminar class before doing that. That one's two credits. Yeah, two credits and that one's just on Wednesdays from like one to three. So I'll have that tomorrow. And then my last class that I'm taking is the master's level seminar. And that one works by you just going to a bunch of different um, informational seminars and research discussions and whatever, um, presentations around campus, and then writing like a paragraph summary, I think about them. So like the CBE puts on seminars every week, so I could go to that. There's these research in progress seminars that the microbiology department puts on, they're called RIPs. I can go to those. Um, I can go to like master's defenses, PhD defenses, comprehensive exams, things like that. So there's a whole host of seminars that I can go to and I'm pretty sure I only have to do 10. Um, so I'm really hoping to front load those in the semester. Um, but those are all the classes I'm taking this semester and then I'm done with classes, done with classes after that. So yeah, that's a little bit of the semester lowdown. I talked a little bit about this in my PhD update video, but yeah, so I should just go ahead and head to campus. When I get there, I don't know if I'll head down to the lab right away or if I'll do some of my like journaling and meditation-y type things that I've been doing lately when I get to campus. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. So I am outside of my dentist's place right now. It's 3.15. Um, the professional, no, what was it? Project management workshop. The parts of it that I was able to go to were pretty good. I learned some new budget kind of template-y things from the university and a little bit more about like how university like funds and stuff work with um, proposals and stuff. So that was nice. I'm missing out on the risk management portion, which is a bit of a bummer because that's the only part I went into knowing literally nothing about, but it's all good. Um, so yeah, I'll have this dentist appointment. It'll, I'm assuming it'll probably take about an hour, which puts me to 4.30 and my pottery classes until 5.30. So I'll probably end up popping home for a little bit. I don't know, but yes, that is the update. I can take a picture for you if you want to stand. Oh, it's okay. Wow. Demand. <laughs> good morning. My camera's being dumb and saying the battery's exhausted even though I just charged it. But anyway, today is Wednesday. January 18th, it is 7 a.m. and I am heading out from my office to go to International Coffee Traders for a coffee meet and greet sponsored by WISE, which is Graduate Women in Science and Engineering, which I am a part of. 
Um, that is from 7 to 9. And then at 10.30, I am doing a virtual presentation to a classroom. Actually, I think they're in Boston area. Um, it's one of the teachers who I instructed in the thermal biology course that I helped teach last summer in Yellowstone. So I'll be telling a lot of, I think, middle school students about um, biofilms and biofilms in space. So that's from 10.30 to 11.30. And then at 1, from 1 to 3, I have my class, which is the proposal development and scientific communication one. And then after that, I don't have anything on the books school-wise, um, but I do need to like go to the lab and stuff. And then tonight is dinner with Matt for our anniversary. So yeah. All right, so I'm walking back to my desk after the coffee meet and greet. It was nice to be able to chat with everyone for about two hours. It feels way colder now than it did this morning walking there. But at my desk, I think I'm just going to go through the course syllabi online for the courses that have been activated on D2L and maybe just get some important dates in my calendar, read the syllabus, just kind of get an idea of what I'm walking into this week. All right, so I am in the study room that I reserved in the library so echoey in here and you're also supposed to keep conversations to a minimum <laughs> but I needed a place to do this presentation from and so I'm doing it here. I figure it's the first week of school, it's the first day of school. There's not that many people on the third floor of the library and also most people tend to study with headphones in anyway so if they want to yell at me they can yell at me. Um, but I read through the syllabi that were available, and then I actually went through and signed up for some R workshops throughout the semester. They offer them about every like two to three weeks or so. So I have signed up for a handful of those, and now I am just going to pull up the Zoom link. Uh, the Zoom's not going to start till 10.30. I just want to have it ready. Um, and then I think I might just do some journaling. I really need to like hardcore get to work on this proposal. But I still haven't talked to my advisor to make sure like this is what we want to go with the direction. So I think I just need to like get over it and just get to work. And if he doesn't like it, that's too bad. I'm the one submitting it. I don't know. So that's kind of the situation I'm currently in. So yeah, I guess I'll also just close out all of these tabs. I have some tabs open from like doing literature search for this proposal, but they've been open for like a week and I haven't gotten back to them, so. Oops. It also sucks because this room isn't super bright for doing an online meeting thing, but whatever. Maybe I might end up sitting on that side and facing this way because there is more light from this side of the room. That's probably what I'm going to end up doing. But anyway, just figured I'd check in. Oh my gosh, I literally had my camera set up. So all I had to do was like put push the power button and push record so I could record part of that for this vlog and I just fully forgot. That was so fun. That was one of the most interactive classes I have ever presented to. And I think they were probably like seventh graders based on the way that they looked, but it was, oh my gosh, so good. They were asking like such good questions. It's one of my favorite things that I've realized about teaching is like when you stop for questions or a students ask questions that is literally like answered on the next slide, I'm like, mm. That to me means that you're interested, you're thinking like along these like lines as like a scientist and as like a researcher. And also it means that I've probably done a fairly good job of like setting up the problem and like explaining things along the way. If they're like, well, if this happens, then this happens, then this could happen. And you're like, yes, we're gonna talk about that on the next slide. <sighs> yeah, that was super fun. This morning when I woke up, I told Matt, I was like, oh, I really don't wanna do this presentation. I know it's gonna be fun, but I just don't wanna do it. I wanna like sit at my desk and be antisocial. And of course, now that I did it, 
Oh, it was so good. Mm, that was so good. I'm hyped. <laughs> Right, hello. It's like 5:40 or so. It's pretty dark. It's not like dark, dark, but you can you can tell the sun's gone down. Um, and I am heading home. I'm walking home as I do pretty much every night, no matter how cold it is. Um, but I got about an hour and a half or so. I would say like a strong hour, and then the last half hour, not super strong, of writing done for my proposal. I have decided that I am just going to throw words on the page for now. And then just really have to do some editing. A lot of times I find myself paralyzed by trying to make sure that my like first go at something, especially with writing is like quite good. When in reality, even if I like hesitate and take a really long time for this like first good draft, it's never good. It all gets scrapped essentially anyway and rewritten. So that's what I'm doing. Anyway, walking home and Matt and I have dinner at 7.15 at the Blackbird for our anniversary. So I need to get home and shower and like re-get ready and everything. Um, and then I'm hoping I still have a little bit of time so I can start editing a different video um, to go up on Friday since today's Wednesday. So there's the update. Good morning. It is Thursday, the, what is it? 19th and today I have class. I have my bioinformatics class from 8.45 to 10.45 and then I have a meeting with the um, College of Engineering graduate student ambassadors from 12.30 to 1.30 Then I have to sample at 2 in the lab with my undergrad and then I have a yoga class that I signed up for at 4.30. I think it's a, just a vinyasa. I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for today. Um, dinner last night was super lovely. I got some pizza. We sh we had bread as an appetizer. We split a carafe of red wine. That was pretty good. I had pizza. And then for dessert, we each got an affogato, except Matt drank like half of the espresso for mine because I only really wanted it while the gelato was in there and like all mixed up in tasty ways, tasty wasty. Um, so yeah, anyway, that is the plan today. Hopefully I will be able to get some stuff done. It's a lot going on in a day with like some like weirdly sized breaks in the middle. So I don't know how much like writing and homework and stuff I'll get done because I do have homework now. So yay, but that's the plan. I'm standing at my bus stop and so I'm plowed a little pathway to actually get to the road. So I don't have to like go around on the sidewalk and just like stand in the road waiting for the bus. Ah, uh, how lovely. As I have previously mentioned, I'm on a journey to becoming a tea girly, but the hot water dispenser wasn't full or hot in the CBE before I had to leave for class. And so now I have to go to a two hour class without any tea. And I've really been enjoying drinking tea while at my desk. So I'm a little bit bummed about that, <laughs> but I didn't think to like go grab, I wanted to grab hot water like right before I had to leave for class. So it stays hot, you know, during class. Sad. <laughs> Someone who's a plant person, like an outdoor plant person, how are their trees with leaves on them still? 
I don't understand. All right, hello. It's like 3.50 or so. I've got a Costco muffin in tow. We had a bunch of extras left over from the graduate student ambassadors meeting. So taking it home to put in a container. Um, but I am walking home and I'm leaving so early because I signed up for a yoga class at 4.30 at Ekam. So I need to make it for that. Um, I'm glad that I signed up for it because had I like waited till today to like see if I had time for it, I would have been like, no, no, there's no time. But because I signed up for it, I like have to go. So, um, but today has been absolutely insane. I've gotten, I've just been like going around from meeting to meeting and then on the way to each meeting, I get like pulled aside by someone else for like a quick impromptu meeting. And then it's just like people interrupting my meetings. So that they go longer and they're less productive and whatever but it's just been crazy so i'm excited to go home have like 10 minutes to decompress and then go to my yoga class um and that's it for this evening uh until tomorrow tomorrow i don't have any classes um but i might go to the writing center for the morning because i need to get this proposal going and I'm just hoping that being around people I'll be more productive and then also um, I have at 6 30 in the morning a yoga class and then at I think 3 30 in the afternoon I have open studio for my pottery class so that's the plan for tomorrow but I must continue walking home and try not to eat it on all the compacted snow and ice <laughs> all right so I'm heading back for my yoga class definitely kick my butt. I'm very sweaty as you can probably see from my mascara that's all over my face. <laughs> um, but it was really good. I feel so good. I definitely need to drink like a bunch of water because I did not drink as much water today as I probably should have for that. The amount of sweating I just did. But I do think it's funny that every time I'm walking home from an evening yoga class, it's like starting to snow. Didn't know it was supposed to snow, <laughs> but it's slightly snowing. So just gonna get home take a shower probably hang out with Matt make dinner together have a really nice chill easy night that's the plan so I'll catch in with you to catch in catch up with you tomorrow morning good morning it is like 6 15 in the morning we got a nice little dusting of snow which actually is the worst when it's just a tiny bit of snow because it covers up all the ice so you can't actually see where the ice is but it's not enough snow to give you new traction. <laughs> and so I almost just ate it really hard leaving my parking lot, but I, I saved it, we're all good. Um, but I am heading to my yoga class. I had a little bit of a breakdown last night on the couch and I almost canceled it, but I decided to keep it. It's gonna be hard, I know it's gonna be hard. It's, um, the class is called Rise, but it's, hard from what I remember from taking these classes a couple years ago, but I can go slower and not do as many poses, whatever. And the instructor is Mish, who I loved when I used to come to this studio, but she's, she's, she's a, she's a power horse, power horse, powerhouse. It's 6.15, so forgive me. So as expected, I got my butt kicked in that class. Everyone else who was there was able to keep up like pretty freaking well. Like they did most of the pose, like all the poses, most of the holds for the entire time and everything. Oh my gosh. I think I held the poses slash did the correct pose maybe like 
somewhere between like 50 and 60% of the time, which is fine. But man, I'm kind of bummed, mostly just because I just washed my hair last night and I had fresh hair and now it's just like a sweaty mess. So it's like 9.30, I'm heading to the writing center to get some stuff done. I did a little bit of like reading and stuff at my desk and then realized I locked my lab keys into my lab. I could really easily go get them and like finish up those lab things that I needed to do, but they can also get done later. So potentially someone will be there that can let me in. If not, I'll just go to the front office and unlock the lab. But I've got some Earl Grey tea with me. I'm ready to go try and get some writing done. I wanna do my abstract for the three minute thesis and then work on this proposal. two hours in the writing center. Two hours is about what I can do with my brain before I need a break. And so now I'm heading back. I'm also very hungry. <laughs> um, but I got my abstract like mostly written and I edited it a little bit. I sent it to Matt to see what his thoughts were. I don't think it needs to be absolutely perfect. Um, and then I started kind of working on the proposal, but there's just so much more like research and reading and stuff that I need to do before I can really get to writing. So I'm also going to meet with one of my lab mates who's much more of an expert on that than I am. Um, I also found my lab keys, so I'm not locked out. So I'm going to go to the lab and wrap up those things that I did not do this morning because I thought I was locked out.
All right, so it is 3.16. I am heading to open studio for pottery. I meant to leave my desk at like three, but then I got like caught up doing this application for fellowship, for the Tau Beta Pi Fellowship. And I just wanted to finish this one little portion of it, so I didn't leave my desk till just a couple minutes after three. And then I got halfway out of my building and then realized that I needed to grab a frozen goose from a freezer that I don't have access to over the weekend because my advisor had some extra geese that he didn't want to keep all of them and Matt wanted one. Um, so, or just breasts or whatever. But anyway, so then I had to like walk all the way back inside to this like different part of the building. It's a pretty big building too. So I got to my car a little bit later than I'd like. I'm just leaving like five minutes later than normal. Oh, there goes my camera to get to pottery. And I just know traffic has been worse since classes started. Like students have been back for probably about a week or so, but traffic is much worse now. And I know I'm not at all in focus for this. But anyway, I'm heading to Pottery now. Open Studio technically starts at 3.30, so I have 13 minutes before it technically starts. Not that anyone really like checks me in or anything like that, but today I need to trim two pieces and then I'm gonna throw some more. So I'm hoping to throw a decent sized bowl, and by decent size, I mean like a normal cereal size bowl, but make it wider. I have a really hard time with making really wide things. I can make taller and skinnier things than most people in my class so far, but I wanna make, oh, like a cereal bowl. And then I also want to, I think, just make a bunch of like mug type tumbler. Like, I don't know if I'll put handles on them next week, but just like wine tumbler kind of things. So that is the goal. We'll see what the execution is.